That's a so-called kamikaze drone striking a residential area in Kiev on Monday. One of many. Imagine that some very huge 200 kilograms uh, motorcycle are flying over your building. It's really freaking scary. That's easy to believe. The drones are small, fly low, and are being used across Ukraine on civilian infrastructure. They pose a new threat. They are deadly, but they are also a real instrument of terror because they don't just come in on a trajectory and explode. They loiter and they seek out a target, and that is terrorizing. These drones reveal an evolution of Russian tactics, but also the way that global tensions and alliances are part of this war. Here's how. This is a Shahed 136 drone. Russia's using them. Ukraine is trying to intercept them. This is footage posted by Ukraine's Air Force Command. It says it's destroying around 85% of the drones. Some, then, are getting through. Which leads to scenes like this, with Kiev police officers trying to shoot one down. But evidently, to Russia, this is a numbers game. Send the drones in swarms, some will reach their targets, which means it needs a lot of them. According to our intelligence, Russia ordered 2,400 Shahids alone from Iran. That's right, over 2,000 drones from Iran. And that's the next dimension to this story. Not that Iran admits it. We have not provided weaponry to any side of the countries at war. But this isn't true. This is Iranian footage of its drones. Note the distinctive triangle shape. Then here's one drone in Kiev this week. It's exactly the same shape. And just as Iran denies it, so does Russia. Only Russian equipment is being used. You know this, with Russian names. But those Russian names have been added. Kiev's mayor shared this photo this week. The Russians have rebranded the drones. So here we have Iran and Russia working together in this war. And on Sunday, we heard that US officials had told the Washington Post that Iran plans to send missiles to Russia too. And all this has implications for the help that Ukraine says it needs. Right now, there is a new Russian drone attack. There are drones shot down. The world can and must stop this terror. To stop that, Ukraine wants air defence. And it's looking to one country in particular, Israel. Because Israel has the Iron Dome system. It intercepts incoming rockets. But Israel has resisted throughout the war, giving military aid to Ukraine. The Telegraph's Roland Oliphant explains why. The Israelis, since the beginning of the conflict, have frankly just been sitting on the fence um, and, and hoping this thing goes away because they also have quite a, a kind of tight relationship with Russia. Ukraine's hope is that Iran's drones may change that calculation because Israel and Iran are longtime foes, countering each other in the Middle East and beyond. And now, once more, Ukraine is asking for help. If Israel's true policy is to consistently counter the destructive actions of Iran, then the time has come for Israel to openly stand on Ukraine's side. Russia, though, has warned Israel against that. Its former president, Medvedev, says it would be a very reckless step. In other words, don't or else. And the week's events brought this from the Israeli government. I don't see us sending uh, offensive military equipment maybe we can support them with an early warning system. So Ukraine will receive help, but not all the help that it wants, which is why the story of these Iranian drones is one of lives lost, but also of how Ukraine is now playing host to global tensions and of how the West continues to balance a desire to help Ukraine and avoid provoking Russia. <laughs>